Good morning, young men. So yesterday we talked about equivalent fractions. Um, a few of you guys were familiar with it, but a few struggled with the visual representation part of it. So let's say that we're representing two-thirds. And we're using a tape diagram. We know that if we're representing, let me start from the beginning. If we're representing a fraction, we're always starting with that whole. And then our denominator represents what our whole is broken up into. So if I'm trying to represent two thirds, I'll take my whole and I cut it into three pieces or thirds. So if I'm representing two thirds, I'll shade in one third plus one third. which equals the two thirds. Now, what if I want to find out how many one six are in two thirds? How can I figure that out? And how is that related to equivalent fractions? We'll find out in a moment. So whenever you're dealing with fractions, you're always dealing with pieces of a whole, like we said a few minutes ago. And we said the denominator always represents how many pieces you should have. So at the moment, we have three pieces, which are, which each piece is considered a third. If I cut this third in half, then I need to cut all the rest in half just to see if I can get six pieces, one six pieces. So let's see how many I have now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now our new hole is cut up into six. So we're going to figure out how many one six are in two thirds. So I have one six plus one six plus one six plus one six. So I have one, two, three, four, one sixes which will equal four, six. Which means I have four, one, six pieces. Which is equivalent Two, two thirds. And what that really boils down to, sorry guys, I don't have a lot of space on my board, is two thirds equaling four six. So from our tape diagram strategy that I just did a moment ago, I came up with this answer. I came up with two thirds equaling four sixths. Another strategy that we can use to determine whether they're equivalent or not is a procedural strategy where we try to find out what we can do to go from three to six. We know that if we multiply three times two, we can get six. And whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the top. Whatever we do to the top, we do to the bottom. So that means I have to multiply by two. Do we get the same answer? Yes, we do. Another procedural strategy, which is called the butterfly method, is where you multiply this numerator by this denominator, this numerator by this denominator, and both sides should equal the same amount if they're equivalent. So three times four, 12, 2 times 6, 12. And I just call it the butterfly method because it kind of looks like a butterfly. So your homework problems. You're going to determine if the fractions below are equivalent. And number 1 is 3 6 equals 1 half. 2, 5 eighths equal 10 sixteenths. 3, 2 thirds equal 4 eighths. 
You can use whatever strategy you choose, but you need to make sure you're showing your work, improving your uh, response to whether you believe any of these or if all of these are equivalent. Have a great day, young men. Peace and love.